let me introduce Regioneers, my brand new hardcore Iron Man that unlocks the world of RuneScape one region at a time. However, once I leave a region, I can never go back. Is it possible for me to reach Raids or Inferno? What bosses will I be able to complete? Subscribe to find out. As of right now, we are currently locked to the region of Misselin. We start where we left off in the last episode. We are in the house of men. We just got 30 attack. We now have an upgrade to add his sword. My goal before I leave this region is defeating the two bosses Bryfoda and Obor. And to do that, I will have to get my prayer up. So I've been collecting all bones here at the house of men. Okay, this is a big level, 27 defense and 40 combat. The only Slayer monster I can use in this region is Vanaka in the Edgeville dungeon. And that requires me to have 40 combat, which I have right now, so we're gonna go and get ourselves our first slayer task. My first slayer task is gold. Oh man, I can see the gold from my region, but I can't kill them. This region locker plugin is built around chunks, which is why it actually shows that I'm allowed to go in this area. But I'm gonna restrict myself from going to this area because I consider this anything past this bridge Mauritania. I've decided to buy myself some defense armor, mitral plate body and an added full helm. My internet has been disconnecting and I'm afraid I might die just to a, like a hill giant or something. I don't have a ring of life. I may not be able to complete the slayer task, but we can still get some slayer levels by completing Varrock Museum. We get 9 slayer and 9 hunter. I have decided that I want to make a diamond ring for the ring of life. The first step to a ring of life is obtaining a ring mold. You can't buy a ring mold in my region, however these barbarians they do drop the ring mold. Okay, ring mold. After 100 kills we got it. Now we need to get 43 crafting. There's not that many crafting methods in the Mistelin area, so I'm mining clay rocks and silver ores. With the clay I'm gonna turn it into soft clay. With the soft clay we're gonna make some bowls. What? 8 crafting. Now we can make bowls. 10 crafting. 11. 13. 14. 15. 16. The thing I don't like with this method is the walking distance everywhere. We make the pots here, the bank is here, we mine clay here, water is here. It's a mess. 19. Higher XP per hour now that we can make unfired plant pots. 20. 25. 30 crafting. So I didn't realize you cannot make silver rings. So we just wasted many hours mining 200 silver ores. Back to clay we go. But I don't really feel safe, so before I continue, I'm gonna secure myself online using a VPN so no one gets access to my account and decides to leave this region before it's completed. And thankfully today's video sponsor Surfshark VPN is here to protect me online. Have you ever tried to download something online from a sketchy website? This is the perfect opportunity to use a VPN. A VPN encrypts your online data and helps you secure your personal information. Surfshark VPN allows you to change your virtual location to over 3,200 servers in 100 different countries. This gives you access to content libraries and streaming services from other countries like all of the Netflix libraries. So if you're going on holiday this summer, you can change your virtual location back to your home country so that you don't miss out on any home comforts. Surfshark also has a clean web feature that blocks ads, trackers, malware, and phishing attempts, allowing you to surf the web safely. And if you use code CENGINEER, you get 3 months for free. Surfshark offers a 30 day money back guarantee, so there's no risk of trying it out. Link can be found in the description down below. 35 crafting, 40 crafting, and that is the final level we needed. 43 crafting, we can now make ourselves the diamond ring. However, we don't have a diamond. There's a few ways to get diamonds in the Missilin area. You can mine rocks for the odd chance of getting a diamond. You can kill NPCs to try to hit the rare drop table and get a diamond. Or you could do random events and hopefully get a diamond. Ring. Give me a diamond. Gold necklace. I have chosen to try to get a diamond from Hill Giants, which has an extremely low drop rate. However, I will passively get 43 prayer and also the chance of getting random events. 27 prayer. 28. Okay, another random event. Mime show. Why do I keep getting mime show? I can now do the best emote in the game. I can pretend to be stuck. 30 prayer. 31 prayer. Oh, I'm starting to disconnect. Oh, wait, what's happening? I'm lagging hard. Oh, this is scary. <gasps> I disconnected it again. Oh no. This is why we need a ring of life. Oh boy. Is it the servers or is it my computer? 
I'm not sure. We're gonna play it safe for a while. I don't wanna die. Not yet, at least. We got 4k to our name. We're gonna get that number up. I came back to the barbarians because they drop an amulet mold. I kinda wanna get myself an upgraded amulet. We make a sapphire amulet. Ballful on the sapphire amulet. And cast that. And we got that amulet of magic. Ooh. Could this be a diamond as well? Nah, just GP. So I will be maging with earth strike instead of fire strike. Why? Because it's a lot cheaper, you only need one air rune for earth strike and you need two air runes for fire strike. It's a pretty big deal when you don't have that much GP in the game. You knew. Is this guy asking me if I'm new? Man, he's so cute. But he calls me cute, so guess I'm cute. Do you have any tips on how to make money? Yeah, go to Great Neck Reels and high off the drops people leave. <laughs> That's his money maker. Oh man, he doesn't know I'm a hardcore man. Holy shit, I need to do that man. Thank you. Anyways, good luck, have fun. That interaction actually made my day. Manually burying bones must be the most painful thing to do on this game, honestly. It doesn't even work like cleaning guams where you can just press one and it will do the ent entire inventory. You just have to manually click every single bone. And it's a pain in the third for prayer. <gasps> oh, it happened! We actually hit the rare drop table and we got the diamond from a hill giant! Unbelievable! Let's go. We, we're, we're gonna turn this into a ring. Right now. Chisel on the diamond. Make a diamond ring. Beautiful. However, we have a problem. To turn this into a ring of life, we need 57 magic. We are 49. Um, we went to Lesser Demon and we got a rune Medhelm upgrade. I just realized I don't have a defensive shield and I just got a Mitral Square shield from Lesser Demons. I'll actually take it. We have almost reached the goal of 57 magic. We just need one more level. And we got some extra rune Medhelms. We're just gonna high elk them and buy more runes. 31k. Beautiful. Lesser Demon was a good choice. And there it is, 57 Slayer. We can now finally create that ring of life. Let's get out of here. We don't need to be here anymore. Here is diamond ring, turn the diamond ring into a ring of life. I already feel 10 times safer with this one. You know, this ring is not gonna guarantee that I survive a disconnection, but it's gonna at least give me that chance. And it's a good chance to survive as well, especially fighting low level monsters. Oh my God, look at him. He's a beast. I'm at Moss Giants for two reasons. We need to complete the 43 prayer goal we had earlier. But I also want to get a Moss the Key because I want to kill Bryfoda before I leave this region. 50 points. That's gonna be the last magic level we get in this region. I believe Fire Blast is the only spell I really need to be able to use here. Oh, 37 prayer. Our first overhead is unlocked. Hoi, 50 range. Uh, if, if there's a way for me to get magic short bow, that would be amazing. 75 wood cutting, 80 fletching. Oof, I kind of want to get that. That would actually be really big for this again. Finally, we got our first mossy key. All right, I'm going to go and kill Bryfota, but I'm actually terrified. This is the first boss I'm fighting, and I'm going to need anti-poison potions. Did you know that you can get anti-poison potions without herb lore? All you need is cadaver berries and limpware roots. You take these ingredients to the apothecary and you make antipoisons. My inventor for this is so bad. We got full magic with fire blast. We got jug of wines as food and we got two keys. Bryfoda is a moss giant boss with plenty of upgrades for my account. Many rune items I would have been able to buy if I had access to the champion's guild. The boss itself isn't normally difficult, but because of my low combat level, there could be issues. We're not hitting anything. I, I should have brought range, honestly. I think range would have been better. There's 42 death runes left. 13 prayer points left as well. Can we hit something? 13. Oh, I wait another something. A seven. Is that the kill? That's gotta be the kill. We did it. We actually co killed a boss. And we get a... Oh. Not the rude med helm. Come on, at least the rune full helm. Okay, I'm happy with rude med helm. It's 20k. We can buy runes again and go back to Bright Photo one more time. That's gotta be the kill, right? 
Thank you. That I, I prefer magic so much more. Ugh, nature. Is. And I really wanted that rune upgrade, like a rune item, like rune plate legs, rune kite shield, rune longsword. Any item would have been great. Nature rune I can get very easily, rune medal I can get very easily. This is gonna be so slow, but I've decided to train range by long ranging using range. That sounded weird. Big level coming up, 40 defense, we can now upgrade to rune armor. Beautiful, go back to rapid now. Ooh, 40, 40 prayer, range overhead completed. Four more keys, back to bright photo. Another bright photo kill, what do we get? Jangberry seed, that is the worst thing I've ever seen. Ooh, that's two good items. We got the mossy key and the rune square shield. Beautiful, that's a great draw. Oh yeah, I forgot I now can upgrade to my rune med helm. Man, I, 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 it, it just looks so funny. This, this helm just looks so funny. I'm loving it. Kill number five, I think? Oh yes! We got it! The rune plate skirt drop. That's a huge upgrade. Actually beautiful upgrade. I've gotten so many upgrades, I'm happy with rune med helms. All right, our last bright photo kill. Any upgrades or not? A cash tag. I'm very happy with what we got. We got a rune plate skirt, a rune square shield, and the, yeah, those are the two upgrades I got, and I'm very happy with that. The next boss I want to kill is Obor. I got seven giant keys right here. We can get some upgrades from him as well. However, the strategy I'm gonna use requires me to do a lot of running, so I need to be able to make an energy potion. And to be able to make an energy potion in my region with my restrictions, I'm gonna need 32 cooking to enter the champion's guild and grab this chocolate bar. So I'll be fishing and uh, cooking here for the next few hours. So see you in a bit. Three hours later and we are now 32 cooking. And did you know you can use a knife to get chocolate dust? And we get seven energy potions. The strategy I'm gonna use to kill Obor is magic. Every time Obor comes close to me, I'll cast a snare to hold it frozen for 10 seconds. This way I can cast three fire blasts and it can only hit me using range, which I can protect from using prayer. Okay, this was actually easier than I thought. I didn't need the energy potions at all. Uh, but we needed a lot of prayer. Put it down. What did we get? A rune chain body! That's actually the best... That's a good upgrade. Our plate body slot was a mithril plate body earlier and now it's rune. So that's a fantastic drop to get. We're gonna bank after every kill just to get our prayer up and then we go back. I didn't know I could get this. 50 big bones, that's a lot of prayer experience. Rune full helm upgrade! Oh my, I, I'm getting so lucky on my drops. The only thing missing right now is basically a weapon. Ooh, full helm again. Now we can start high arcing this. 20k high arc. Another kill? Another giant key. Ooh, definitely we actually needed that. That's a good drop. Yeah, Lawrence. Yes! Yes, we got a weapon, a rune longsword. Oh my, I'm so happy. We actually got all the upgrades we needed. We got full rune, we got a rune weapon. I can't even use it yet. And we got one giant key left. We can uh, remove the Addy sword and put in the rune longsword in the back. We got rune, full rune, with a shin body and a square shield and a rune longsword. Look at me. I can't wear the rune longsword just yet, so it's gonna be looking like this for a while. I look, look at my defense. Like, I can start AFKing monsters now. Alright, time for the final stretch to get 43 prayer. And there it is, the 40 attack upgrade to rune longsword. Now we can grind hard. Here we go, the final bone to be buried. 43 prayer. We have now unlocked protect from melee. This took a lot longer than I expected, but it's finally done. It's finally completed. There's a few things left we need to do in this region. Follow me. Before entering a brand new region, we need to make as much preparations as possible. So I'm stocking up on some food. I don't know what to expect in the next region, but some pies would be nice, especially these garden pies. We're gonna need a brown apron to get into the crafting skill in the future. Maybe a white apron as well. Silk could come in handy. Okay, this is probably gonna be very important. Needle and thread. Uh, I'm gonna hop and get some eggs 
extra because that could be very very useful someday. Druidic Ritual is a very important quest to unlock herb lore. And for this quest we're gonna need raw rat meat, raw bear meat, raw chicken meat, raw beef completed. For the Black Knight Fortress we're gonna need an iron chain body and a bronze med helm. I decided to collect some unicorn horns as well for herb lore. We got some red dice as well for I think it's goblin diplomacy and a quest in Mauritania. I can't remember which one. We got some yellow dice as well. One problem, we don't have access to blue dice and the quests we need dice for in the future are kinda RNG based. So hopefully we we'll get lucky on the quest. I bought a rotten tomato, no idea why. When I unlock the Kandarin region, I will also unlock rune crafting. So I mined myself 1500 pure essence. I don't think I'll ever need this, but I've decided to get myself the full hardcore iron armor just in case I need to flex sometime somewhere someday. In the last episode, I showed you a list of quests I could possibly do in the miscellaneous region and after further investigation, Gertrude's Cat and Rag and Bone Man 1 are quests I cannot complete. So let's complete the final quest, A Soul's Bane. I don't actually think there's any reason for me to complete this quest, but just for the sake of getting some quest points, I will do it. Maybe, just maybe there's a quest point requirement somewhere besides Dragon Slayer that I haven't thought of. I believe that should be A Soul's Bane completed for one quest point. Now I'm just walking around to figure out if there's anything I forgot of before I leave this region. Because once I leave, I can never go back. I almost forgot that I still had four giant keys left, so we're gonna make sure to use them. Another giant key and a chain body. Rune battle axe? That's a weapon? Is that better than the rune longsword? I don't know. But that's a unique weapon. <laughs> I'll take it. Rune chain body. I'm getting a lot of rune items here, and I'm very happy with that. The final overkill? for Lawrence. In case I need to level up my construction, I'm gonna buy all the supplies necessary and also make some planks. I think I'm ready to move on to the next region. I have decided to go just west to the region of Asgarnia. But have I gotten everything I need? Do I just go leave this area forever and never come back? Do I do it? Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I pressed it, I'm going. I'm leaving. Goodbye, Missilin. Goodbye forever.